happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy September the um, 13th. Well, I woke up this morning in my DMs, and I seen that Erica Mena apologized for racial insensitivity. And this one um, YouTube influence said that he felt that it was very PR. And he said she got nothing coming from him, you know. And she, he also said he only felt like that Erica Mena apologized because she lost her first two money makers. And that was um Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and the all black network produces hush. Now, I'ma say this. Wait a minute, before I say this, he also said he don't think that she can act and he don't feel like she can sing either. I thought that was rude. And he also said that he feel like her apology wasn't very sincere. I'm going to say this. How come is that we can forgive everybody else for their apology, but we can't give a non-black person for their apology, for racial slur or insensitivity that they had seen. How come? First, we got to start here. If we're going to forgive somebody, we need to start there. I understand everybody is saying that um, they've been doing our people like this for many years. They've been doing, okay, I understand. I get you. I get you. I get you. Yeah, I get you. But at the end of the day, it's like, y'all, somehow we got to stop with the madness. You know, we, we fight bigger in quantities. Like, <clears throat> Excuse me. We, we fighting bigger problems. We fighting people getting killed out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? And um, people, baby daddies, is killing them. When I say people, baby daddies, I mean women, baby daddies, is killing them. And all because Erica said that in the heat of the moment, like she said, she said that in the heat of the moment, and she did not mean it because she said that she do have black kids. You know what I'm saying? And I think it took a time for her to sit down and just realize what she done and to come to herself to apologize. Ain't nobody going to just get up. And just apologize. Ain't nobody just going to do that. Even though y'all want somebody to. I'm sorry y'all. Ain't nobody just going to do that. Y'all can want and wish all y'all want. It made me mad because I had to get up this morning y'all. I had to. I had to get up and react to this because I thought this was some bull coin how they how they are heart treating this girl. Whew, Lord. It I feel like it's crazy and I feel like it's nonsense. You know, y'all already made a prime example out of the other. Uh, I'm not gonna say the girl because she's not a girl, she's a woman. Y'all already made a prime example out the woman. Y'all got her fired from all, uh, all black network, the show, Hush. Then y'all, first y'all got her black from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So y'all done y'all part. And then y'all got Spice over here. She ain't doing nothing. She ain't doing, I feel like I ain't doing nothing but laughing. And then y'all got Safari doing the same. And then I'm going to tell y'all something. What y'all ain't seen, Safari, 
and Spice is spring outside the um the show. So in reality, Safari did keep up that drama. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. Safari did keep up that drama because Erica and Spice wasn't into it at first. They're just like, um, I, I don't know what it's just like. That's just like, you know, um, I'm pussy like this. Uh, Montel Hall from Love and um, Huntsville. Him and um, my soul, I always stay in women's business. They always stay in women's business. And that's the same thing with Safari. And that, yeah. And then now, from what I heard, I don't know even how true this is, Amana and Safari supposed to be dating. But y'all want to walk around here and to crucify her. Crucify her on what she doing. But at the same time, he's doing worse. And she says, and now she's saying sorry. And now accept it so I can go back to work. But everybody said, chill. They always sorry. I apologize. But I feel like she really did apologize. I feel like I feel like she really do deserve. To go back to work. I really do. I feel like she really do deserve to go back to work and everything. I feel like it said that, you know, I feel like it said for any black woman to get called that name. But I also feel like it said that any woman that's single got to take her her kids. Um, don't know how to do it. So I guess now she'll probably end up working in a mall or something, something because y'all counsel her. <sighs> y'all, y'all, I don't know. I don't understand, but I'm not in the show business, so it ain't for me to understand. It just said that y'all won't forget this and y'all won't uh, accept her apology. And she already don't apologize. It just said, yeah, people can say what they want to say and it'd be, it'd be okay. It's sad. It's sad. But that's one of the reasons, you know, that's why they call it show business. And it said that Mona Young didn't protect her show, her castmates on her show. But it, for her to put this out, it, I thought was very insensitive. Very insensitive. Why she wanted to say racial insensitive? This is very insensitive because. It's insensitive to the public. Why would you put this out? You know what I'm saying? Knowing how the public will react. That's crazy. But that's just Mona Scott. Young. Crazy dude. I 
I remember it, it was some stuff on her show having to do with Mimi. Baby, I don't know. Y'all, I'm going to close. I'm going to close. Yeah.